Welcome Aquarius, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of May the 11th to the 18th, 2020. I always start off thanking you and showing you grace and gratitude for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Always be sure to click the option ALL, make the bell ring when you do subscribe. That way you'll hear when any of your favorite YouTube creators are out here for you to view on YouTube. As you know, this is a general collective reading and that means that not every single card may resonate with every single Aquarius out there, but take what you can from it. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you and welcome you to click the little eye icon in the top right hand corner of my video and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful Aquarius, is posted below in the information box. Just keep scrolling down and you'll see all of it there. We start off today with your reading and this is the situation where you are now. This is the foundation card. This is your crowning energy. This is what's going to benefit you and this is the outcome. This is your theme card and I am also working with two other beautiful oracle messages, one from the tea leaf deck and one from the letterman, which you're quite familiar if you watch me all the time, right? So we start off today with our theme and our theme here is enchantment. I don't know if you can see that very well, but oh, pardon me, it's not enchantment, it's education. Look at that, okay? And this is, you know, life is filled with lessons. So be teachable is what this card means. So wisdom comes from participating in life not just reading about it participating being active being proactive being involved okay being involved big time it suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek so if you're if you're wondering about a situation this week in your life and you're working on it but you're not quite there that could be why okay the direction to take or your circumstances or even the nature of your inquiry might mean that you don't have enough knowledge about it. Important information is coming though, okay? Now is the time to go to school, ask a person or who might know about that, you know, more, more than you do or find a teacher, of course, you know, who, you know, who can help or maybe take a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action might be. So it's all about learning something, okay? Learning something and, and retaining and taking in and comprehending and taking in knowledge, adding more knowledge and wisdom to yourself. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you an unfamiliar school, uh, you know, send you somewhere you're not familiar with and you must learn by experience. Now is a time to be teachable, open to changing your per perceived notions. Be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet, okay? So we don't know certain things, right? And that's what this is about, Aquarius. Maybe you're thinking about taking a new form of study. Maybe you're thinking about taking an online course. Maybe you're thinking about adding something interesting to yourself, uh, to your personal development, okay? But I do see that this refers to adding to your education and your, you know, your database of wisdom and knowledge. So don't be afraid. The theme here is that if you keep yourself aligned and attuned to and open to accept knowledge coming in, it's going to help you this week. So there may be something you need to learn or find out. Okay. Beautiful. Now. You're in, in your situation right now, in the center of this reading, you've got the moon. And the moon is usually, um, well, it refers to Pisces, but regardless of that, the moon means that sometimes there's information again or secrets in the background that we need to find out about, okay? Uh, a lot of readers read it that way, but I see it that at our darkest time of our, that we're dealing with and in our day, the moon comes out and it illuminates absolutely everything around and below it so that you will get clarity. So relying on your knowledge, like the dog here, the dog is with his wisdom comes from being taught and the wolf's wisdom comes from innate intuition. 
okay? He's got that built in, that radar built into him. So this is about you tapping into both those elements this week. So make sure you educate yourself on something that is very important that you're participating in or getting involved in, okay? And that might require research. It might be require, you know, get online, find out about it, or maybe you're actually going to be taking a course of study, a new course of study. But nevertheless, always tap into your own abilities, your own innate uh, intuit, intuitive abilities, okay? Uh, tap into them, okay? Because it's showing me there may be some important uh, insights coming in psych psychically to you as well. So the moon sometimes talks about fears, getting up in your head, uh, and that's what holds you back from moving forward in a progressive movement, okay? That's what holds you back from actually wanting to um, wanting to move forward and do something successfully. So don't get up in your head. Don't get into that moon energy because Aquarius, the only thing that's going to hold you back this week is yourself, your lack of confidence. Your, don't get into that. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. It's going to be too hard. Do not get into that state of mind. I want you to step up and be progressive. I want you to step up and you know you've got the resources here to find out what it is you need to learn in your database. What education, what knowledge, what wisdom you need to get into you, okay? And you're going to be able to move forward. I'm not saying you're going to university. I'm just saying tap into your resources that are going to help you fill you with the information you need to move forward. Because this often has to do with, you know, with, with information in the background that you haven't received yet, okay? And you need to get it. And you can. You can. Look what you got here. I mean, this is your foundation card. This is the Midas touch card. This is that king that sits in his in his abundance, okay? This is about, you know, a successful time. And you can confidently accept any opportunities you're being offered at this time. And it's literally, he's literally called the Midas touch king, okay? The king of earth, the king of pentacles. That's who he is. So know that you're going to be able to tap into that. I mean, this is an amazing card, an amazing card of energy here, positive energy, positive vibration, you know, it's success. And you know what, any projects or, you know, events you're working on right now, they're going to work out successful. They're going to go well. You know, it's even to the point where some of you may see some residual income coming in. Some of you might see a different job where you feel it's even, a, it's a step up. It could be almost like a a higher salary, you know, a promotion, and know that your talents and skills are going to bring you these rewards, okay? And we talked about this, this education, tapping into the resources that you need to find out. So you have that book of knowledge to carry with you. So this is a beautiful card of knowing that, you know, things are going to work out. This is financial security. I mean, this is amazing, all right? So step up step up my beautiful aquarius and realize that you are going to be able to see the fruits of your labor so whatever you've been working on here applying you know if some of you have been taking a separate course of study something to enhance your resume or some new form of study something that you're taking on it's going to bring you money it's going to bring you success it's going to bring you you know pretty much Whatever you're touching your hands to this week, Aquarius, you know, they call it the mind is touch. It's going to work out in your favor. Wow. So don't get up in your head. Okay. Don't get up in your head and think that you can't do it. Just make sure you have all the information you need. Now, crowning your reading, coming up above you, from above you, you got the justice card. Now, justice in the angel tarot is always strength. Okay, I don't know why this is so dark, but we got a very cloudy day. We're gonna we got rain clouds coming in. Okay, so I do have light on it. So I don't know if I was to do this. Anyway, it's okay. You got the picture. It's the strength card in angel tarot, but it is the justice card in the traditional tarot. So you know, it's all about you digging deep and being fair. Okay. Uh, making the the you know leveling the field in a fair way okay so if you're dealing with somebody uh that you have to you have to be be fair with them okay um they just showed me bringing the hammer down <laughs> my guides are so funny they're so they're so uh visual i they send me the most visual messages so you might be putting the hammer down on somebody okay so before you lower the boom on them 
okay? Don't go jumping in there too quick. I want you to look at the whole picture. If somebody has created some sort of dissension, some sort of, you know, um, energy that isn't appropriate around you, it could be somebody in your family, anybody, okay? Or somebody's done something to you. Don't, you know, or they've judged you, okay? They've misjudged you. Don't you jump in and judge them either too quickly. This is all about reaching in and doing what's right, okay? Playing fair and making these, these decisions in a fair way, okay? Maybe something was wrong that caused them to do this. Maybe something forced you to do, your hand to do something that you normally wouldn't do. But this is about inner strength, okay? So if you're dealing with any judicial issues this week where someone's, you know, been judging you or calling you up on something or you're going to do the same to someone else, I want you to step back and look at the whole picture. Again, we're talking about getting all the knowledge here that you need. The whole story, nothing but the true, the true story, so help you God type of deal. Don't jump in with only half the knowledge, okay? If you have to deal with somebody this week like that. If this is about inner strength. This is about releasing any harsh judgments, okay? This is about you realizing that compassion and, and forgiveness can come into the equation so that you can deal with it, okay, on a rational, logical way. All right. Don't react with your emotions. I want you to think about it before you step in. Also, you know, I tell you this all the time. This is about, you know, uh, catching bees with honey, not with vinegar. So you don't want to go in with your guns blaring and then later on go, oh, geez, I screwed up. I didn't know that happened. I didn't know this is why this, you know, that you reacted this way. I didn't know, you know. And that's right, you didn't know. And that's why I'm saying here, you need to find out all the information before you deal with this judicial issue this week. All right, whether it's with a family member, a friend, a coworker, whoever, don't jump the gun. Now, what's gonna benefit you? Well, look what you got. You got another beautiful king. Lots of power in this reading, my beautiful friends. This is the king of water, the king of cups. And you know what? This tells me that you have the ability to step up and be actually uh, a counselor. You're a natural counselor who listens to people and offers some comforting and kind words. And this comes from your experience. So this could have to do with where you're going to deal with the strength card and the justice card. You're going to step back, take the power of this particular king, okay, and do this. And keep your mind open to the ideas of others and be accepting of those who are different from you. How ironic that this comes up right after that justice card. A beautiful message. So this is what's going to benefit you. Stepping back, taking a deep breath, looking at the whole picture, getting all the story before you go in. Okay? It may be time. You know, you might be doing this, you might be doing something to help somebody actually this week too. And this, this king also refers to the king of charity. He's out there helping others, okay? Um, volunteering, giving to the less fortunate. And you might be doing that too, okay? Uh, for others, you might be just doing something like cleaning out your closet. And, you know, so many people have been doing this since they've been in, isolated in their homes. They've decided to get things done that they should have done a long time ago. And it could be giving to the less fortunate, which is wonderful. Okay. Also, you may be receiving some excellent advice. Okay. Coming to you, someone who you can completely trust. All right. And I want you to follow their suggestions. Okay. Because I truly believe that you can trust them. Okay. Somebody who's very authoritative, somebody who's well read, somebody who knows. Okay. Has these skills. All right. Uh, and they're respected. So this is about, you know, also it can have to do with a trustee trustworthy romantic partner all right okay don't jump the gun all right there you go two kings already we've got the midas touch king here the king of earth the king of pentacles that says you're going to be okay financially and then you've got dealing with a judicial issue here dealing on a kinder level okay and um you know opening your heart to listen to those around you all right, taking advice from someone you can trust or you're going to be the one that's giving someone else some advice charitably from your open heart. And that's what's going to benefit you. Beautiful. Now, what's coming here with the outcome card? You've got the two of earth and this is the two of pentacles. And this means that you could be juggling a lot of jobs. You could be juggling a lot of things that you're having to do right now and you might be finding them a little bit too much. Uh, you know, don't make yourself out a priority list here. Don't be running, you know, running yourself ragged, doing too many things. 
And know that you can always ask for help too, okay? Um, there's a decision that you might have to make. This, you know, he's juggling two things here. There might be a decision that you have to make right now, okay? It could be, also, I look at this as opportunities and offers because it's a pentacles, right? So you could be getting a couple of offers coming in, two opportunities that you need to make a decision about, okay? That you need to make a decision about, but it's a good decision. This, this is a jester. He is so laid back. He's ho, hum, yeah, I'll do this. And that's going to be easy for you. Okay, so it tells me you're not going to, it's not going to be a stressful decision that you're going to make. But how wonderful. You've got two kings here that are teaching and guiding you this week. Oh, the Midas Touch King, the King of Earth, the King of Pentacles, success, happy home, happy financial situation. Wonderful. Dealing with someone here on a, on a, on a judicial issue, uh, you know, with a strength card, looking at someone's situation in a different way, understanding. Okay, so tolerant, patient, compassionate. All right, that's how you're going to deal with this. But you're going to make sure you see the whole story this week. All right, education, educate yourself on what's going on. Okay, now what is your tea leaf message? You got the grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Well, don't we all feel that way? Wouldn't that be great? Well, you know what? They are starting to lift some of these, uh, you know, sanctions that are out there. Some of these restrictions that are going out there, depending on where you live. We're still all going to be very, very careful going out into the world again, because it's going to be a little bit different. But some of you need to have some fun. So do what it is you need to do to have some fun. Okay, they're saying that you've been working very hard. Like I say, it comes in below this two of pentacles, which says there might be too much going on. Okay, you need to balance. You need to be able to balance instead of trying to do this juggling act here. Okay, balance whatever it is you're doing, whether you're trying to balance home life and work life, whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe some of you are actually out there and you're, and you're first responders yourself. That only makes sense. It's difficult, isn't it, to juggle your home life and work. Right now, I think you need to ask for help if it's this situation with some of you, okay? If you're, if you're having trouble balancing that, ask someone at home to give you a hand, okay? Or let it go. It'll get done, okay? Don't stress yourself out about it. Now, let's see what we have here from the Lennerman. Oracle, beautiful deck. Spirit, please give me the messages that I need for my beautiful Aquarius today. What message, what additional message to conclude this reading should they have to add to this reading please what have we got here what have we got here thank you so just don't get up in your head okay what have we got look at not only did you get you know you're going to have some fun but you got the harvest card okay the skies and 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 the the harvest here along with the Midas touch, the King of Pentacles. So this tells me it might be a waiting period here, okay? If you're waiting for something to come in, if it's a check, if it's, uh, if it's uh, you know, some sort of money here coming into you, some of you might, it might be money that you're waiting for to come in. Know that it's taking time. And of course it's taking time because with the situation in our world, everybody is, is everything's slowed down, okay? They don't have the staffing to do it. They don't have the people to write the checks. They don't have whatever. Okay, it's taking time. We all know that. All right. And like this picture depicts, we plant our seeds and then they come to harvest and they need all those elements to take the time to bring it forth, to grow the plant, to harvest it. And it's all in the right season, right? We plant it, we wait in all those elements, the sun, the heat, the water, all of that stuff takes time. So know that if you're waiting for something, you'll get it. It's coming. Okay, because this is the card of good, good karma good energy, success, okay? It's coming to you, all right? So it's just going to take a little bit of time. Well, my beautiful, my beautiful Aquarius, this is your reading, as I said, for May the 11th to the 18th. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. You know, don't get up in your head here, all right? Try not to do too much, but this decision you're going to make won't be as hard as you think get the information that you need okay and deal with any any challenges this week with a, a kinder more understanding forgiving heart all right that's what you need to do but you're going to get some guidance here from somebody i think this week that's going to set you take you aside and say hey listen um this is how you know i see the situation and you're going to deal with it that way and i want you to never forget how far you've come everything you've gotten through 
All the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't. All the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was. All the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day. And never ever forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of your challenges. And remember, I keep telling you, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers for continued good health. Play safe. Be safe. See you soon.